Inc. and Team Fight by tweeting at LOL Esports with either the hashtag CLG win or hashtag TSM win. We'll update those as we get through the game. Force of the show, reduce some of their uh, overall map. Pressure. Oh, you have a moment to talk about Sharima. Smithy comes in with a little bit of safeguard help. And now he's taking the same roam path down again. This is going to be tough for Doublelift to survive. Oh, close though. They are on a double lift. Santorin flashes in for the knockup. Aframu, he's just getting tossed every which way and will finally go down to the hands of Bjergsen. A lot of kills and assists picked up there. Tough to survive down. a five-man gank down yeah. bottom. Dragon's going to go down here. First one coming in at 16 minutes. Q's on. Resonating strike is not taken. The no QQ. Now TSM pushing up the mid lane. Whoa, Bjergsen on to Povelter puts the Emperor's divide in, but Bjergsen already has the flash he needs to get out. Goes down, however. CLG collapses nicely on the fight, and the journey oh, oh, oh. across. It's going to be a four-man journey. A cosmic binding against the wall, something you have to look out for. Lustboy locks it down, but the dredge line comes through from Alphamu, and he locks it down even harder. The sapling will slow, but they will not pursue. Just trying to take all the little things they can. Going for blue. Going for blue, but taking a lot of free damage in the process. Double is going to be able to cut them off here. Santorin just on the other side. Possible tunnel under the wall. He hits up double Meganar. lift in a bad spot. They've stayed way too long here. Yes, flash. Meganar, indeed, a double man ultimate against the wall. That's double lift going down. Nick Smithy is now going to get hit up. And CLG has overstayed their welcome. A quick safeguard out saves Nick Smithy. Dyrus is going to walk them home to make sure they get out semi safely. Couldn't stop it before it hit the turret, but CLG make sure to have that kind of pushing. The CLG, even with this 5,000 gold disadvantage, uh, if they can somehow keep Poe Belter safe, can still do a whole bunch of damage. That'll be the start of it. Tempered Fates himself and Zion Spartan. Here comes the teleport in. Should be safe for now. It's Smithy on the wrong side of the fight. Zion Spartan gets taken down as he twisted advances in one more time. Dyrus just trying to gnar out everybody backwards to stop the fight for Team Solo mid. CLG is putting themselves on the front line and in the Whoa. back line perfectly to make sure Wild Turtle does not have targets. And then they're able to focus him down. Paul Belter with some big time plays early on here. Bjergsen though once more. Oh, he goes in. He's able to take down oh. one. Aframu gets hit. Double lift now onto Bjergsen. He's able to mimic it out. That mirror image giving him a big Bit of a mind trick. One last arrow. Can he throw it through? It's going to be Poe Belter shifting the soldiers forward and picking up the kill. Santorin lives with a sliver oh. of HP. This Baron is CLG. Santorin doesn't look like he, he even wants to try for it. Boom. CLG back in the game thanks to a tremendous fight from Poe Belter. Now they're all a bit of the back foot. Oh, Dyrus. could be an ultimate. Eyes still on Dyrus. He's able to throw Zion Spartan back. It's still tanky, and that's going to give the team enough time. Bartle. That's double lift and Smithy in the Bard out. Double lift can still start to kite back. Poe Belter was just on the outside, but it's a triple kill for Bjergsen. The team was able to start kiting and make it happen. It is going to be Lustboy going down as double lift and Poe Belter now run for the hills. Bjergsen should be able to close the gap as he's going the long way around. He will uh -oh. get the cut. Double lift will get hit, but they focus Poe Belter so they can clean up both of them. That's the mirror image. He's going to be able to get back in for the double kill, and TSM now capitalizes on a CLG error. First, the Bardalt to yeah. shut down Doublelift after they pushed Maokai into the turret with Gnar. It just set up everything else for the rest of TSM. So Bard's debut in the NALCS. You know, the ultimates haven't been used enough or figured out where to be used perfectly in the fight. They lined number. into this bed, LeBlanc. Scary game. Was it enough? Dyrus half a bar in. Would like to get a few more shots and quickly goes up to about 75%. And double Doublelift and Zion Spartan. Oh, too early of a Gnar ultimate. The Emperor's Divide pushes them back just a second too early by Dyrus as he flashed in. Obviously, Bartol comes Fast in. Teleporting in. Zion's healthy. Scrying orb on top of Baron. Home guard he tree. He heads in. That's easily the smite. Going over to Santorin onto Zion Spartan. And it looks like TSM's going to be able to figure out which target they want. Now, who wants to take the magical journey? A cosmic binding only hits X Smithy. Santorin's into the back line. That's going to be uh, Aframu going down very fast. Poe Belter is low, and he gets popped by the Ignite coming in from Bjergsen, who's full health after this fight. Like I said, they had all the chance to focus who they wanted and they just piled on everybody in front of them. Once again, CLG with the better start to the season, come in with a whole bunch of momentum, but TSM control the rivalry.
It's the same thing that happened to CLG we talked about before. As soon as they hit the TSM roadblock, they could not stop the slide. And it hopefully won't happen again for them, for the CLG fans. TSM on the Nexus, 40 minutes into this one. 17 to seven, Team Solo mid takedown, Counter Logic Gaming. Gotta feel good for TSM after dropping the first game of the split to Cloud9. Yeah.